Here with NSU tennis coach Jonas Brobeck. Jonas, the spring season is here. Uh, this program they had a had a really good fall season. Uh, the importance of fall season didn't get one two years ago. Had to jump straight into the spring. Um, what's the importance of having a that quality fall season this past year? Yeah, uh, huge. Thanks for asking. We, we had a great fall. Uh, we on purpose scheduled an additional tournament to get a lot of quality matches in with regionals, with a tournament at SMU, home tournament, and then finishing up with um, kind of a hidden dual tournament at, at Sam Houston, which was great because the girls got a bunch of quality matches that we could build on. And then finishing off with a tournament where, uh, first of all, it was four teams that are very close very 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 close and we're playing uh, in a system that you play doubles against one team and then singles against another so it kind of felt like a dual match so it was good for the newcomers to kind of see uh, even though we played two different teams in one day what the the, the season is going to be like so it was a great setup Tennis is a little bit different for most college sports in that your newcomers get that fall tennis experience before stepping into the spring season, which is the, the team portion of, of, the, uh, of the season. Um, your newcomers, Clevisar, Ishibashi, um, Donalova, I mean, it seems like they did a lot of quality things in the fall. How much does that help their adjustment into college tennis? A lot, a lot. Um, and, and to be honest, like when we can play, when you can play a high level schedule and this the southern region that we're in there's so many good teams so many good players so just getting them acclimated and I knew we all knew when they came in what level they had internationally and, and nationally where they're from but uh, they did phenomenal stepping right in and, and producing really well and competing great at regionals against some high level competition so it's obviously is a stepping stone leading into the spring because if you do the right thing in the fall that transitions well into the spring for sure so you got a nice group of returners of Minetti, um, Gig, uh, Polanska I know is, is on her way back and uh, you know Dora and everybody what you know when you mix the those returners with these newcomers uh, a ranked newcomer class I mean what 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 could happen what are some what's the ceiling for this team in that respect yeah great question yeah I mean we have a we have a great team this year and we all know it and we talk about it uh, about focus in on us because I know if we can take care of us day in and day out, do the small thing correctly, compete hard and then go out and do that in a match situation, I know uh, we will give a lot of teams trouble. So we, we try to not, uh, of course we have goals and those goals are high to, to win the Southland Conference, of course, but um, we try to um, focus on the things we can control. Because if we can do the daily work at a really high level, we know and they know when we step in the court, we are prepared to to uh, to do some good things. So, you talked about that high level competition in this region. The way you start the spring season, you go to UTA on Saturday and TCU on Sunday. How how do you feel like um, that a, a, a quality fall schedule prepares you for something like this uh, this coming weekend? Yeah, for sure, for sure, and. You know, Arlington, always one of the top teams in the Sun Belt, and TCU, obviously, you know, Power Five school. But, and, and, you know, we, even then, the way we set up the schedule, and then we have Tulane the weekend after three really good teams. But we all know that if we go out there and, and, and compete well, we can do some damage against those really, really good teams. So, um, I like, we like setting up a schedule where we get these quality matches out of the bat and then um you know because it kind of shows where we are and what we need to do and and and, and it, it, a great opportunity to play some really quality teams so and then Jonas for yourself year two as a head coach yeah. I mean what's to to have done this a year before to have some of that experience to be in that seat uh, you know what are some things that that you take from the first year some things that are probably easier the second time around yeah uh, Learned a lot, obviously. I mean, being a young coach, you got to learn all the time. And, and, and every, I, I believe every good coach and every, you know, someone who's doing this for 30 years. So for two years, you got to always, always learn, right? That's part of the game. So, uh, yes, last year was a 
tough, tough, tough year for everyone, you know? So we learned a lot. We learned a lot about ourselves, uh, we, you know, but we, we have to also believe that we grow through adversity, you know? Last year was tough with COVID and the snowstorm and all these canceled matches, but the girls never, I was so proud of them. We were so proud of them. They, they never faltered, they never complained. They just went to work, you know? So I really think that that kind of set a tone. And like you said, with it, with the, with the newcomers coming in, we have such a group, great team chemistry, close knit group that, I mean, it's, um, no, everyone is looking forward to go to Texas next Thursday for sure. Jonas Brobeck, thank you very much. Thank you.